January 22, 2009, the anniversary of the Supreme Court decision Roe v. Wade that legalized abortion in the United States. Every year, thousands come to Washington, D.C. to participate in what is called the March for Life. We are going to talk to some of these people today and let them tell us what they experienced. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning on January, what, 21st. With the seminarians, and this year we went with them again like we do every year, and usually they rent three charter buses to go down together. So we would load the bus at 5 o'clock and start heading down at 5.30. I went with the group, um, it was in a bus with four uh, different groups from different parishes and a lot of excitement to go and I wanted to go I couldn't make an excuse not to go before I was thinking oh I don't want to sleep on the floor of the church I won't get a good night's sleep but my heart was telling me to go so I followed that 730 after the seven o'clock mass at St. Clemens okay. mm -hmm. the vans were outside waiting for us and um, the blessing of the fleet I guess you might say when um, Father Greg blessed us as we were to go for a safe voyage. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was uh, wonderful, very um, prayerful. We had so many prayers, rosary, almost continuously. <laughs> then eventually um, we arrived in Washington, D.C. at approximately, I'd say, about 5, 5.30. And the people that were not going to go to the Basilica for the Vigil Mass mm -hmm. and then drive back uh, to the Basilica. A lot of people on the sides, people um, everywhere. Thousands, yeah. We were jam-packed. Standing, sitting, sitting on the floor. Every corner, every side chapel. Just about everywhere. It's wonderful to see the large number of seminarians uh, walking before the priests and then the bishops. Um. What's surprising was a lot of young people. A lot of young people were there for Mass. And it was a, you feel a great atmosphere of solidarity and we were very happy, happy atmosphere. to pick out our sleeping spot for the night. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the grotto? Yes, we were yes. in the grotto. Yes, yes. And, um, crowded, very crowded. It was, uh, it was an experience yeah. with all the different people from all across the country and all the sleeping arrangements. Just yelling and screaming, but it was a good thing. It was not like disordered. It was just they're there to celebrate life. Uh, very happy to see many people 
In the end, I saw kind of half the mall filled because we were a little early then, and then later more and more people, and nearly two thirds of the mall was filled. The march started to process. <sighs> Crowded. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was just a lot of people. Massive. If you were claustrophobic, that was it. Thousands of people jam-packed. Blocks and blocks of people. So awesome. There was so many people. How did the major network news organizations cover this event? We asked Stephen Fair to watch some television on January 22nd and to tell us what he saw. Absolutely nothing related to the march. There were lots of interesting news stories about the incoming Obama administration, his cabinet and so forth, but there was nothing that I could find with regard to the march. Now, I monitored the three major network newscasts, ABC, CBS, and NBC, and there was nothing. Well, it would certainly seem to suggest to me that many people in the media have an agenda, which is an agenda in support of keeping abortion legal and um, marginalizing the very significant number of Americans who believe that abortion should not be legal. That a society is judged by how it takes care of its weakest. And that says it all to me, that we're not. Because uh, life is uh, such a fundamental value, you know, really a primary value and everything is for life. Everything activity we do on this earth is for life. This is democracy. This is what freedom is about. Freedom is for us to express our concern for the natural law, that there's life inside that womb. That yes, people do stand for life. People do want children to be born into the world. That there is hope. 